But yeah, I'm not prejudiced at all. I, I do make jokes to other people, though, but if they can't, you know, take the joke, I don't do it. Like, with me and my two other friends, one happened to be Irish and, and the other one happened to be uh, pure Italian. We used to make jokes about Italians and Irish all the time. We used to laugh because we know we're really serious. That's what I guess didn't make us really hard prejudiced because we could talk about it freely. Like, if you like somebody and, um, and they're different from you, other people tease you or um, other people tease your friend because they're different and you... And, um, they think you can't get along with them well. I'm half English and half Italian. Um, my Italian roots go back to around the turn of the century, when one of my great-grandfathers um, took a boat from Italy to America, and where he was sent back, deported, because he couldn't pass some type of test. And he made it on another boat, though, to Canada, and where he snuck across the border with um, a couple of bums. I came from Venezuela, Caracas. Uh-huh. Um, I've been living here for 10 years. I was four when I left there. I'm not from India. Well, wherever you're from, Pakistan. I'm not from Pakistan. I'm from Dhaka, Bangladesh. My great-great-grandmother was um, a Sioux Indian. Well, I come from Haiti. But I wasn't born in Haiti. My parents were. My mother and father um, were born in Italy. Uh -huh. And my mother came here, and she was, she's been living here for 24 years. Uh, my parents, grandparents were born over there. My parents weren't, so I, I have Yugoslavia. Yeah, my family's from Palestine. My, I guess my great-great-grandparents were born there, and the family just started out there. My great-grandmother came from Ireland. She came from Ireland? Your great-grandmother? Mm-hmm. You remember her? My grandma started work when she was 13. She worked all day inside a factory. She dreamed of being free. But when she grew up, she joined a workers' union. And struggled hard to get few hours just for play. Your story, my story, her story. Your story, my story, his story. My father and mother came here because there was all relatives and so they could make a better living. We came because my father wanted us to get an education, then go back and also because like he didn't want us like involved in the independent independence rights. Yeah, I think Lena. the reason my mother mother and father came here was because like to find a job where I could get more money over here and to visit all their um, relatives. He'd come to America from Italy to escape um, um, for some reason of um, governments. And there was a problem going on between. Italy and some other country around then. People came to this country for a lot of different reasons. These immigrants 
brought to the United States a wealth of culture and tradition. Every ethnic group has something to be proud of, special music or poetry or crafts or food or dance. One example is the Tarantella, which came to us from Italy. <laughs> Unfortunately, people often overlook the positive contribution of immigrants. Many of them encountered persecution and prejudice when they came here. It may be hard to imagine now, but the Irish were denied jobs and called names for many years after they arrived. I'm an Eastern boy that landed from the town of Ballypad, and I want a situation as I was in very bad. I have seen employment advertised as just the thing When I grew a little bigger, um, I used to have no friends because no one liked me because I talked a different language. So then my sister and brother taught me another language, um, America. So now I got a lot of friends. Like lots of kids call other kids names because they're like more of their kind instead of black. There's more of white than black in schools. They may not like their culture or, or how they talk or how they look and all that. They're jealous. What about you, because Robin? someone is di different doesn't mean that you, that you can't be friends with them or you can't get along with them. Yeah. Speaks different language. I, go, I can get along with someone that speaks a different language. Well, just because, you're, like, if you're a different color or you dress differently, that doesn't mean that you can't get along with people. Like, getting along with people is something normal that everybody does. Does. I think kids get along a lot better than adults do, because a lot of adults are still from back when there was a lot more troubles between different races and nationalities of people. But nowadays, the kids can get along with other peoples. And um, like my my father, he's um, a little bit prejudiced against certain types of people, but I'm not. And that's the only real difference between us, between adults and kids right now. And it can be fixed. Like tomorrow, if kids don't um, forget the ways they're acting now, it's possible that the world can get together. What do you think about that? I think it's a good idea for um, different races to get together, but. You know, one thing I don't like is misunderstanding. Like, um, I don't mean to be prejudiced or anything, but the Iranian crisis, right? Like, that created a lot of problems for me. Because, like, everybody, like, they think you're Iranian, right? I don't know why. They hate all I Iranians, right? Uh -huh. They shouldn't do that. It's like, they think that I'm Iranian, right? When I'm, when I'm walking down the street alone or something, they go, hey, Iranian, come here. Like that. I really, I really don't like that at all. I'm not even Iranian, and they have, to, and the boy has to hassle me about it. 
I try to ignore it, but I, ca I can't. Where do you think that comes from? <laughs> he's stupid, so it comes from ignorance. He's, 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 just, he's, he's just stupid. He thinks he's, so, he thinks he's just a, a cool kid, but he's really, really a dumb, a dumb kid because he won't use his mind right. Where do you think it comes from, Jay? I think it just comes from ignorance and hatred of um, what was going on over there. But there's no real reason to hate all the Iranians, though, because they aren't all involved in it. It's only a, s a, s a small portion of their people that are doing that were doing those things. Yeah. I think prejudice out of it, because 90% of the people down the luck, and they say that it comes to take away their jobs, and you know they got enough problems. There. That's why something to complain about. There were these um, black people recently. They lived on Lincoln Street, right? And like nobody were their friends and stuff, because um, I think she came from Africa or something. And then, um, like, I started playing with them and stuff. Then uh, all the other kids, like, um, and then they and they became to like her because I started playing with her. And now they all play with her, this girl. It's like you should get everybody in the world together into the same room, right, and tell mm -hmm. them, like, oh, just think of them as the same people you are. Just um, think of them... Uh, like your own sisters and brothers, except they're dipped in paint or something. Oh, well, that's a nice way to think of it. Oh, that was nice, Patty. That would be nice if we could do it, get everybody together yeah, in one room. What do you think, cool. Gerardo? Yep. You think that's a good idea? What were you going to say, Paul? We could fit them all, the whole world in one room. That's true. Maybe we're going to have to do that inside our minds.